What's up, guys? Welcome back to another uh, defeat, another L, another, um, I don't know what it was. Uh, it wasn't football, that's for sure. What we watched today was definitely not football. Um, another L against Lazio, and it's time to sack him. It's time to, if you are actually a big club, if you want to be a top club, you tell him today, do not show up on training tomorrow because you are done. You're done. If he stays or if he's gone, I don't care who comes in to take on the last, what is it, 10 games with the Coppa Italia? I don't care. It could be a random guy from the under 15s for all I care. I don't care. It's done. He's not getting a response out of these play players. One win out of nine. The same issues over and over and over again. Starting certain players, subbing certain players. Everybody is looking crap right now. Even the players who, quote-unquote, look decent look crap right now. It's done. Like, it's absolutely done. If you're a big club, you walk in that rock room and you tell them, this is your last presser you're going to do. Do not show up for work tomorrow. You're done. I don't care if you get Montero from the under-19s or you get the coach who's, I don't even know the name, who's coaching the under-23s. I don't care. You get him out of that club right now because it's toxic. And the players, look at Cambiasso when he got up. Look at Chiesa when he got up. These players are done, fed up. And it's not to excuse all the players, but it's toxic. It's not fun in that locker room. I don't care what people say. These players are done. And Allegri has absolutely no clue what he's doing right now. And that, like, the giveaway should be starting the Chilio. I don't, like, I forgot he was at the club. I forgot he was at the club, and he's starting a game in 24 before Diallo, by the way. He changed his quote-unquote formation. He didn't do that when we were asking about for that to get Yulis in that team, to get Chiesa going. He was never going to do that, but he does that today to play his buddy, De Chilio, who was absolutely rubbish, by the way. Again, no surprises. Gets up at halftime because he stunk out the place and obviously could never play 90 minutes. If you want to play De Chilio, you give him 10 minutes at the end. These are decisions he is making. I don't want to hear about Sekulov. Oh, he comes on. Look, poor Allegri needs to play with an under-19, uh, uh, next-gen player, whatever. I don't care. He subbed off Chiesa to keep Keane for like eight minutes on that pitch, and then he subbed out Keane. There was no need to sub out Chiesa. There was no need. That game, if you were going to win that game, it was going to be with a moment from Yildiz or Chiesa. I don't care if Chiesa was playing poorly. That's the only way he's going to win that. He's going to win games. That's the only way Allegri is going to win games from now until the end of the season if he actually stays on. And he is going to stay on because this club is weak. There's no leadership in this club. They're scared. They are rubbish as well at their job. It is what it is. There's no serious coach on planet Earth who will be looking at this, a serious uh, coach, a serious club, and sits there and be like, yeah, you show up for work tomorrow. It's done. We are not getting Champions League football if he stays or if he goes, whatever. But if he stays, we're not getting... Like it's one win out of nine. It's six points. It could be six points from the Champions League spot. Let that sink in. If Atalanta win their game in hand, or for all my it could be worse. If Atalanta win their game in hand, it's six freaking points of top five, of fifth place, of sixth place, basically. That's the reality. So I don't care what people think about money. Sack him now. It's done. It's embarrassing. It's unbelievable that it's going on. And actually, I, I don't, like, give me a sec. Because I'm done with the excuse making. People are still making excuses. It's one win out of nine. This team looks clueless. No matter who you play, Tudor had two weeks with half his team out for international duty, by the way, and they looked decent. They looked like they can press together. They looked like they knew what to do. They weren't excellent, but they weren't all over the place like we. Two weeks with half the squad available, two weeks, and they look like that. He had... A year of one game a week to prepare, and it's April, and we still have no clue how to play. People are talking about Chiesa being rubbish. He was picking up the ball alone. He was needing to try. He needed to beat three, four players even before somebody actually strolled on to help him out. It's ridiculous. You can play, blame the players. You know it's bad when even Inter fans or Inter-orientated journalists come out and they're like, 
I feel sad for certain players because this is ridiculous. What you're asking from certain players is absolutely ridiculous. And we can talk about individuals. We play Miretti, a player who needs the ball. He gets like eight touches and then he gets subbed off. And people are like, oh, he's rubbish. He doesn't improve. Eight touches, by the way. And he got subbed off. We don't have the ball. What do you expect? Mechanic comes on. And everybody, oh, we look better. We didn't look better. Let, let, people are absolutely insane right now, going insane. We didn't look better. We were rubbish in that second half as well. We had nothing. We had absolutely nothing besides that Chiesa save in the first half. And that was it again. That goal we can see, people are hating on Sekulov, a striker from the next gen, being the last ditch defender. That goal should have been prevented by McKenney, who looks at the player three, four, five times and let him put in an easy cross. Was it Gwendouzi? That's on McKenney. You step out and you force Gwendouzi out of the box. He doesn't do that, and everybody's jumping on Sekulov. But not on McKenney, on poor McKenney. He didn't do his job. You're asking a striker from the next gen to defend in the last second? Rather than you ask the guy everybody wants to be handed out a new contract to just do the easy job and put some pressure on Guendouzi and mark him out of his right foot or wherever it was. But at the end of the day, the same issues are again. It's the same. The team, three year in, no style of play. They lost faith. They're not playing for anything right now. We are down. Like it's down. There's no Champions League next summer and the club is screwed. Juntili is screwed. Like, he's, it's messed up. Because if we don't have money, we can sit there and do not sell Bremer. We're going to sell Bremer. We're going to sell another player. And you're getting absolutely nothing to replace him with. That's just the reality of the matter. That's what's going to happen. And it's on Lakery. Because the coaching job he has done for three years is rubbish. And we can talk about players. It's rubbish. For three years, there's no style of play. And we're not even talking about winning a Scudetto, by the way. We are talking about one win out of nine. Forget about Scudetto talks and winning trophies. We are talking about one win out of nine and no style of play after three years and players not improving, regressing. McKenny's not improving. He's just on the same level he was before he absolutely fell off a cliff last season. He just worked on his fitness and started running again like it did in his first season. It's not improving. It's not improving. Nobody is improving. Rabiot, people are sitting here, he's key to this team. Piss off. Rubbish player as well. He picks these players. We have absolutely no footballers in this team. By design. We don't play football by design. Keane up there dying. Dying. Between two to three defenders trying to control the ball and that was it. If you're a serious club, you tell them right now in the locker room, you are done. Do not show up for work tomorrow. Get out. Because if he stays on or he doesn't stay on, there's no difference. But that's that. So let me know in the comments what you think. I will be live for the post game later on. Maybe I'll cool down. But yeah, like the video, subscribe, and I will see you guys later on. Ciao.